it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect 2. Currently we are in Omega and we're trying to reach the professor. Uh, I think he's called, yeah, it's a doctor, but he's called a professor. Morden, <laughs> the Salarian. And there is a plague going on around in the, in like the slums of Omega. So far it's been super interesting, so I'm really really excited to head back in, but yeah, that's where we're at now, so let's jump into it, let's go. Alright, right back into the action, as I can see. I thought it would save that I killed them, but I guess not. It's fine. Crazy. This will put them down. Okay. Ah! No shields. Ah. Merciless. I don't know. Don't know what that is. Come on now. By the way, I kind of um I haven't talked about that yet. But I kind of miss the cooldown for the weapons. Uh Okay, 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 okay I'm not doing too well. Have to reload. We compromise. Oh yeah. It seems we've crossed into Vorcha territory. The blue oh, suns have given up a okay. lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. I missed the cooldown for the weapons. Actually, I don't like the reloading system. I, I know it's weird because usually that's how a game works. Like it's always reload and stuff, but. I don't know, I kind of liked... Maybe it's just because I have a pistol and it's kind of annoying because it's literally always empty. It's only 12 and I, I'm sure I can upgrade that later down the line, but... For now it's like, it's a bit annoying. No more contacts! So yeah. Hey, I mean... hey, back off. Oh! We got here first. Human loot. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff, it's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Dude. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're <laughs> just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. Although I am What's one. What's <laughs> the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. Plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? <laughs> I'm tempted. I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think she's kidding, man. <laughs> Whoa, hold on a minute. <laughs> nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just uh, wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? <laughs> yeah, it was too tempting. Him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. 
Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. Eh, don't mm. know who's gonna come out on top. We just wanna stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kinda had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcher finish them off. Yeah, I'm kinda sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Okay. I realized, I noticed that um, we have a lot of uh, intimidation or charm options, like check. And I noticed that I, I don't know if it's because of the level, but I don't think so because even Renegade right now, I had enough points to be able to answer with Renegade. With a renegade option so I'm, I'm just curious if it's because of the beginning of the story maybe that's why they made it a bit easier and we can just pass all the checks whereas in the first game it was not as uh as easy like you really needed to to up your game with the paragon or renegade to be able to pass those even in the beginning of the game like i felt like you know, I, I don't know, maybe it's really just because it's the beginning, we'll see. I shouldn't, I shouldn't use Renegade too many times, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm already a little bit, like, advanced, you know, with my Paragon, so it's fine. Oh, there's a fly, just a second. Alright, I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. There is no... Okay. Yeah, so the cooldowns, uh, I don't really like, and the, and the checks, it's not that I don't like it, it's just the difference. The gameplay feels different a little bit, uh, and the maps, the lack of maps, but I guess it makes sense because, like, we don't know these, this place, so it makes sense that we don't have a map of it yet, I guess. And it's not like it's quite linear it's not that complicated but yeah it just it feels different from the first game it, i just need to get used to it oh clinic all right perfect that's where we're headed clinic guard Hello. no funny business once you're in the clinic unless you want to deal with those max right okay. good call Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Oh. You can uh, switch here. Interesting. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Talk to anybody else. This is a Tyrion patient. There we go. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Okay, he's in that direction, so I'm gonna go here first. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Why is everybody On the way here? here? We saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah. It's not a very good image for our species, Professor, but it's fun to take care of them. There he is. With Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? 
Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Them is a better option. No, no, no. Them is a toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Interesting. I'd have to just listen to them, you know? Oh. Nice. We can use this. You must recruit a head scientist to what? To build an upgrade? A head scientist. I mean, would, would the professor work? Hi. I'm recruiting you. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> okay, we're finding a lot of those. Plus, uh, probing the planets. I think that's how we're gonna... That's how we're going to get our... Like, resources. Alright. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed oh, to be refugees. No mercenary the... uniform. Quarantine still in effect. One of his... Uh... Give her something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. No, no. Too many guys. R2. Oh, love me. God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I had a R2. I didn't know what it was. mission, first. and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? I love how they talk, the Salarians. The privately funded human group. Related I'm to plague. Shut up now. Doesn't affect humans. Human centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. He is like a... I love him. <laughs> I, I just really like his character. He, he is like... Uh, he reminds me of Sherlock. In Sherlock Holmes. Um, the TV series. Especially with Benedict Cumberbatch. It's kind of similar. And... Um, I wanted to say I really like how Salarians talk super fast, but they said in the codex in the first game, they said that they actually talk really slowly to us, like they could talk even faster and everything is super slow for us, like uh, for them compared to us. I find that very interesting. You're very well informed. How did a Salarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? Right, that's it. That's a good question because I was also wondering that last episode. I was like, you know, we're it's it's only human crew, but I wonder if we're gonna bring a lot of aliens on board and how it's gonna go. You know, the collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors, interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors, one of few groups with technology to design it. Our mm. goals may be similar, mm. but must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. So earlier when I had an R2, it's for Renegade. I wonder if I had an L2 as well and I just didn't notice for Paragon option, but... And if you don't do it, what happens? Like, you don't get the points, I guess. And then the, scenes, the scene plays out differently. Need to distribute it in the control center. Which are guarding it? Need to kill them. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, "Sure, let's go right now. No strings attached." <laughs> Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give to get what we want. <laughs> I really like the renegade option sometimes. What the hell was that? Forge have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Forge. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forge territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I really like this scene. And and the the zoom on his face is just really cool. And the fact that he has he has this car here and he has like one uh, one of his two I don't even know how to call they're not horns, but one one is cut. So definitely someone said the last episode, someone in the humans, I think, said, I don't think he's just a doctor, he's military. Like it's it's strange, and I, I would agree. Like he looks military as well. Like he has some past veteran or something. If I see him, I'll do it. Yeah, let's I try to find help. Daniel. Thank you. Told him not to go. Like look at him. He's smart, bright future, I hope. 
found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems mm. experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Why does it make sense? Yeah. Mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Okay. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Huh. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special right. Tasks group. Right. Can't handle myself. Yeah. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Right. Let's head for the environmental plant. I'm excited to see his, uh... I'm excited to see him in action. M6 card effects hand cannon acquired. The following squad members are now able to use this weapon. All right, and now I can switch it to the weapon loadout we saw earlier. Yes, Shepard. You need something. No. Let's okay. head for the environmental. Yes, part. good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Plus seven renegade. <laughs> hand cannon. I need to try that. Highly accurate and lethal side arm. Effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. That's fine, I have overload. Upgrades the predator heavy pistol. Oh, okay. Okay, it's just a... Okay. Cool. Carnifex is favored sidearm of mercenary leaders and eclipse mercenary tech specialist. An expensive but powerful weapon. Its marketing materials... Feature a charging Krogan with the slogan, don't you use Carnifex was... Don't you wish Cardifex was at your side? So it is good against... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good... Against Krogan. Alright, I mean... I'm down. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morgan. This way. Oh, we can also go this way. That's new. Okay, that's the objective, actually. Can we go here? No. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Oh, we have only six bullets, though. Six rounds. Okay, I I don't know if. I don't Behind know if they're. Us. Are they gonna be? I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I see. I see. <laughs> Let me just uh, here. Oh. Where the fuck are they going? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. So off. I should, I shouldn't use that right away, I guess. But this one is not good though. I really don't like it. The weapons are really not as good as a um, Mass Effect one, I feel like. Oh, 
I'm not good. Eh? All right. Wait, 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 wait. For you, I have something special. Jesus. All right. Um. Yeah. Let me use unity. Okay. Let me see. Maybe flashbang. I can do maybe cry. Yeah. That was quite good. Are we good? Holy shit, that was crazy. That was a bit harder. Uh <laughs> than what I'm used to. Let's get the ammo. I'm full already. Okay, I think we can go to the objective. Also, we don't see fatigued or tired anymore. Uh, oh, hacking. Sure thing. Um, how does this work again? Yeah, like this. And then... Uh, uh, this one, and then this one. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> huh? They like, give it to me, like, I don't have any. This one. Like, the fuck? Well, uh, yeah. I... I mean, I, I don't know. I don't see this one. Jesus. That was... That was hard. <laughs> like, it's a bit of RNG, no? Maybe I just didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, we're full. Hack this one as well. Move the cursor, you'd select the target code segment. Yeah. It's just like I. Oh, dude. Uh. I. Oh. Oh. Is that how it is? Okay, so you can't go on the unauthorized. Oops. Oh well. Sorry. I missed, uh, missed something. <laughs> That's 
is way tougher than in the first game. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Dude, nobody needs I to I know die. you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Yeah. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? Sure. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. I Thank thought Batarians were way worse. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill I don't know. Me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... Well, my life. Everything. I owe you my life. Commander Shepard. Incoming. That's for it, Chuck. I just need to get used to it again to like reload. I'm just not used to it in a in a Mass Effect game, you know. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, that's fucking insane, dude. down yeah thank you okay uh can i send no they're too far i've got it are we good holy shit Oh. I guess we just need to go down. Can go down there or here? I'm sorry guys, my PC just shut off and now we're back. <laughs> so uh, in the middle of combat, I don't know what happened, but it happens sometimes. <laughs> no oh good lord. I am not doing too good. Jesus Christ. I think maybe. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, I just wait. I need to wait. Like to get. Okay. Let me put that and this. <gasps> what? 
Okay, let me try um, this one. That didn't work. Good lord. Heavy weapon. Okay, wait a minute. <gasps> Shit. Can't I... Triangle. Why can't I use it? Are you kidding right now? For some reason, I can't use my drone. The fights are uh, are quite something, and yeah, I have to wait. I think for Miranda to give me back health or like, yeah, I don't know, like give me back. Uh... Also, I don't like that I don't have a mini map where I see enemies and my my teammates. Like, where is the mini map? Why don't I have that? Like a, uh, I guess it's an upgrade, maybe. A, um, how was it called? Combat scanner. But even if you didn't have a combat scanner in your upgrades in Mass Effect 1, you still had the minimap to help you. But here you, you don't, you don't have that. I don't know why. I find it very peculiar. Like, I really used that a lot. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't see them. Oh, damn. There's a... Again. I know I, I'm sounding... I'm so sorry. I'm sounding like I'm complaining all the time today. I really like the game, like, don't get me wrong, please. Like, I, so far, I'm really, really liking it. It's, it's just that I'm noticing more and more the differences in gameplay, and I'm not sure I actually like it more. It feels smoother, for sure, but... There's a couple of things that I preferred, actually, in Mass Effect 1 so far. But it might be upgrades, like I said, so I don't want to, like... We'll see. You know, you don't Jesus. come here. We shut down machines, break fans. They're like orcs, basically. Die. Then collectors make us strong. Okay. What the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. You can try. You can try, dude. You know what? I'm gonna use that. Too far, that's fine. Okay, thank you, Jacob. In an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Okay. Insert the cure. Okay, let me just go around first. Uh Oh, there's no nowhere really to go around, I guess. Wait. Yeah, there is. What's here? Hmm. 
Ventilation control. I can hear some borches, I feel like. Okay. All right, let's let's insert the cure first and then go to ventilation control, I guess. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Right. Okay. Oh lord. We've been spotted. Get over here. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Okay. Here we go. What? Fucking die, dude. Headshot. That was a headshot. Come on. Yeah, that's too far. Okay, dead. I need to change weapons. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Um. Shields are down. Yeah, his health was coming back too fast for me to do it with the pistol. Down. To go. Let's move. This pistol is really not the best, let's just say. Nice Alright. Um... Okay. I need to use my uh, my other one. That's so much better. There we go. Thank you, Miranda. Give me everything. Oh lord. Why can why can't I use it? Target protected by armor. Interesting. Why why doesn't it Why doesn't it Okay. Whew. At least they don't come back these. Alright. Ooh, the charge, dude. Okay, let me uh, take this. That's good. Ooh. Ooh. Just a reminder, guys, we're on veteran. Um, and I can definitely feel it. Uh, th this is way more violent, by the way. Like the animations when they die like that that's insane um but yeah i uh i'm on veteran and i can feel it like i'm i'm struggling a bit i feel like i haven't died yet but uh, we were close a couple of times eh like and i kind of don't like that i need to wait for someone to heal me done that kind of sucks i want to heal myself oh there we go dropping patients improving vorcha retreating well done shepherd Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Yeah. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. Yeah. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. 
You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Young Padawan. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Don't forget our I deal. My part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Nice. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Press circle to end the mission. Interesting. Okay, but can I just go back? Can I just go all the way back? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try. No, I don't want... Yeah, I don't want to return to the Normandy. That's the thing. That's my problem right now. I want to go around. Really? I want to go around, though. Alright, then I guess we're leaving. The professor. Yeah, I want to go around Omega. I haven't seen uh, everything I wanted to Welcome see. To Normandy, professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. I guess I can just go back after this. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well connected espionage experts had it's top level second clearance time once. I, I retired now. That Still hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's it eyes. It is true. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. Yep. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. I'll just sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? that? Pilot? No, <laughs> synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. Mm. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Research unlocked. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. Mm. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Quantum what? I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Okay. <laughs> Why aren't these used everywhere? Yeah. Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. So much money. Okay, I have unlocked a lot of researches. Investigate upgrades, yeah. About research. Research new upgrades to dramatically improve the power of your squad. Yeah, I read that. 
Discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can study it and they may discover a research project to further improve assault rifles. When you purchase a research project, you must pay the specified amount of rare resources. You then gain the upgrade described in the research project and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section. Ah. Weapon upgrade, squad bonus plus 10. I see. Okay, can I have a... Uh, uh, armor... Medigel capacity increased by 1. All modern combat armor incorporate a first aid interface. Our capacity in this interface, might have vital functions, and reduce small localized dose of Medigel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy dose of Medigel can be released in response to major trauma. How oh, there we go! However, the efficiency of this is dependent on propriety. Medical software cannot be copied. I want that, yes. Thank you, scientist. Okay, and then... Requires one more medigel capacity upgrade to unlock the trauma module. Ship enhancement. Cutting edge of service fleet technology, but further improvements are possible, could assist you. Discover possible enhancement by talking to your crew. Okay. Prototypes. New armor. Increase heavy weapon ammo capacity by plus 10. Increase shield, increase health. That's... That's good. What the fuck? Collector's assault rifle. Same principle as human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. It looks insane. Its power source seems to be internal organ with biotic capacitance. Radiation resembles pellets of metallic animal that strip shields of enemies with deadly efficiency. This one looks fucking insane too. Cerberus adapted this suit for you out of savage collector technology. Collector's tenuous? Armor is flexible and even tougher than ballistic fibers. Its organic construction allows it to be self-healing and a muscle-like tissue that assists movement ensures it is comfortable to wear despite its weight. Regeneration, bonus, storm speed, and health. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shots. Yes. Please. Okay. Miss missile launcher. Eviscerate shotgun. Inferno armor. Negotiation bonus. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for all the research to pass. I think there's two more. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Should I do all of them? I don't even know. I mean, for my squad, I should research that as well. I guess, and then... I think I'm interested in this armor. This one looks cooler though. <laughs> You know. New weapon is a shotgun. I know Jacob uses that, I think. So let's research it. Whatever. I am I just want to... Like, that would be good as well. And biotech power damage. I'm I'm tech. <laughs> Did you guys know? <laughs> I 
I guess that would make more sense for me. I have a lot of palladium. Holy. Okay, I received a new armor. Let's just let's just pick those two. Also, missile launcher, I think I should get. Scholar! Okay, I think I think we're done now. Uh, I'm gonna need to probe a lot of planets. Let's just say I'm gonna need to probe a lot of planets, eh? <laughs> What's this area of the ship? This is the Normandy's technical lab, where you can nice. investigate new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. Mm. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab, provided you have acquired the necessary resources. You can find these resources by scanning planets or searching while on missions. I should go see the um, the engineers. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Yes, please. Okay, th th these are the... Wait, what? More than Omnitool. More than gets plus 20% tech power damage. Yeah. Why does it leave? I wish. Shepard, how can I help? I wish it would Any stay. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the like, collection? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. I didn't even have time to check the rest. Fuck. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for you? I'm mad. I Quite wish I checked the rest. Found a few I didn't know I would be... Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive to Miranda. Out. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited mm. facility presents challenge. Same greatest imagine. number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. I didn't know that. How so? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre mm. similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well, safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Hmm. Covert, high risk, served under a young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan Wait, genophage, you did? took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Yeah, I know Kirihi. I saved him. Okay, wait. I, I, would I, STG I, I, study <laughs> the genophage? Krogan we'll Rebellion's get there. bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed yeah. by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects yeah. every cell of Krogan body. 
commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually, really? adjusts Incorrectly. viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. I worked with really? an STG captain named Kirahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury-rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Yeah. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Yeah, his alive. speeches are so good. Personally, yes. prefer to get job done and go home. I was about to say. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Hold the line. It was one of the best speeches in Mass Effect One. I was about to say that. Nice talking with you, Morgan. I should get back to work. Need that's, to study. So much data. That's good uh, fan service. Me. I love that that they put that in the game, in the second game. That's really good fan service. <laughs> love it. All right. All right, so I can't... Require one more assault rifle, damage upgrade to unlock. All right, all right. That's, that's fine. I think they must be here? No, that's Jacob. Okay. Choose loadout. So now we can... Okay. I think I'm gonna keep this one, but that's very interesting. So now he has two options. Uh, this one is M23, I guess it's better. Did they have short range, but ineffective at long? Where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block. Serrated metal wedges directly improves its armor piercing capability, but its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer range than started shotgun. Violates several intergalactic weapons treaties. I'm gonna give him that. For you. That's fine. Yeah. I can't choose for him. Interesting. Um, do you have anything to say, Jacob? Commander, can I help you with something? Thoughts on How the mission? Doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. Yeah. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything <laughs> else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Any, Any thoughts upgrades? on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Ship enhancement. Oh. Normandy armor upgrade. Yes, are we made Celarius armor upgrade is attached to the ship's supper structure. This will help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shield. Uh-huh. I see the foreshadowing. Okay, <laughs> uh, we're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that. Commander. We'll talk later. I'm, I'm sorry. Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare? We've got the best armor available. Okay. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. All right. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. <laughs> like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel from a Batarian bioweapon. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this Why shit tight. Why do I tight. see it so flirty? We're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Yeah. 
Don't be so formal. You're a soldier like me. I need a reason. I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me oh, on I leave. can definitely have a romance with him and I don't like it. Or take down a Reaper. <laughs> you covered that. Ew, you're still in tough shape. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> the Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. I mean, he's nice, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know him. Treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What Fair was enough. your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the council. Miranda and I stopped it. Right. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. Mm -hmm. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Just a good man. Like, he's still in top shape. I'm just gonna go with neutral guys. No like, apologies for doing what you had to. I don't want to enter something I that, that I. I couldn't go back to the alliance <laughs> after the cover up. They did the same to you. She's General way Public too flirty. never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity, and they still dumped you. You think I'm perfect? Thanks for thinking of me. You always just depressing. Thanks for thinking. It's nice to know someone like you is thinking about me. Knowing the real story was hard. It felt like, well, maybe this isn't really appropriate, Shepard. Commander, I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. I'm making you nervous. <laughs> You're not blowing me off that easy, Mr. Taylor. What the hell is going on? I don't... I don't... No! <laughs> Why do I want to jump everyone? Like... Uh, it's fucking weird, eh? Alright. Yeah, we got our... Uh, our dudes. Upgrades, yeah, we have the unread messages. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Healing your facial scars. Chief Medical Officer Chakwas, Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reaction with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic Implants and exterior your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I have updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Really? Wait, that's so interesting. It's like... It's like, oh, the, the, there's like a customization to your scars. Whether you're like Paragon or Renegade, I guess. If you're Renegade, you'll have more scars. And if you're Paragon, it will heal. But regardless of that, you can customize it with Dr. Chakwas and just make it go away or put it, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. Admiral Hackett! Did he see my um, my monument? Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site. We sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. I love him. Med Bay Commander, upgrade. You received a new message at your private terminal. I... I... really? No. 
Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Never I better mind. go. I, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. We'll I... talk later. I... How may I help you, How is Commander? the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything Interesting. I feel like be there's going be to be... I feel like, okay, in the first game, talking to your crew was super important important but i feel like in this game it's even more important i can already feel it because i would have had i wouldn't be able to upgrade like the ship's armor if i hadn't asked jacob for that the engineers i need to go and give them because i bought something in omega that they asked for and it might help i don't know but like jacob said people are gonna die if we don't have the best armor. That's like foreshadowing 100%. So you need to really do everything you can, I guess. I don't want anyone to die, <laughs> you know? So that's very interesting. And also, Morden, but also Kelly, seem to be taking care of like the overall mood. Like, I feel like I will need to be careful and make sure that everybody's feeling good, like mentally as well. It feels like that right now. But I, I might be wrong, you know? Armor. There we go. Okay, so now I see it. There's probably other upgrades that I can do on the ship. Let's go talk to Joker. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge <laughs> It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Ever think about the old Norman? Yeah, those seem like... We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Yeah, we, we That's already talked about Commander. that. That's so funny. <sighs> okay, let's go down to the engineer so as soon as i get new upgrades it will probably appear here as well and we'll see it because that armor i just got so that's that's nice that's really interesting let's take this and go to engineering and then you really see the the elevator i really like the loading screen really threw off the gravimetric profiles but engines are good to oh. go i rebalanced the gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers i love it when you talk dirty you're the best commander we just got those fba couplings installed FBA now couplings. we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day we're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker want to join us come on kenneth the commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My skillion five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, commander. It's all friendly. Will I really yeah, play? Right. I don't I don't know what that is. Oh, I won. I did. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beaten. I'm sorry, I cut the conversation. What can we do for you, Commander? I guess, I Carry guess on. that's it. Will okay. Do, Commander. I really love his accent. Will do, Commander. Will do. <laughs> um, I was able to go. Yeah, no, there's nothing to do here. I should go to Chakwas or maybe in the tech lab again to customize my face, I guess. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, okay. We can enter here now.
Miranda. Joker. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. That looks Old like a Krogan uh, that gun, then died in armor. The blitz. The day I Jesse. laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I mean, same. Guess you're elusive, man's big on forgiveness. Oh, yeah. That's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from Very the inside cool. with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. This one. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. So I can't really talk to him properly. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. It's just... Okay, and what does that... does that do? I'll do it ten times just to see if there's a trophy for it, okay? We never know. I think this was the f fifth? I know. I don't know how many I'm at. It's okay. I'll do another three. Okay, one last. I don't think it does anything. All right. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. Jesus. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. He's, um... He's quite uh, intense, eh? Alright. Quite the veteran. Cruise quarters... Uh Oh, I'll see my uh, my stuff that I brought, no? That I bought in the uh... You can see my new The era. We could change the music as well. I see. Is it just the appearance or... Because 
Inferno would be better for me. Apply. I do think it would be but I can't uh, I can't change uh, how it looks it's kind of sad yeah let's just yeah let's use this one ah there we go that's my uh, previous helmet right that I picked up on um, the Normandy crash site, I think. Oh, and I, I bought these, right? I think. Ah, that's cool. Like little trophies. Uh, let's go to crew quarters. I really want to go back on Omega because we haven't done all that I wanted to do at all. Oh yeah, I should probably, uh... Can't take off the helmet. It's kind of sad. Okay, I have three points, so... Require uh, Cryoblast rank two. Let's get it like that, yeah. Okay. The, uh... The leveling up is uh, much slower. I do think. Much slower than uh, in Mass Effect 1, which is fine. I don't mind it as much. Um, but yeah. It just feels really different. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. Wow. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. That's kind of surprising, actually. Okay. Let's uh, talk to Dr. Chakwas about... But I uh, guess it's I in, the tech, you, in the tech lab. Do you have everything you yeah, need? I believe so. This medical base, the only thing missing are my private reserve. I yeah, even yeah. have a bottle of Ceres ice yeah, brand. I, I'll see you later, I, I already... I already had a... We already talked about that before. Okay. Also, I don't have the spices and shit. <laughs> what about Amanda, you? What can I do for you? Normandy upgrades. You got any ideas All for right. potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Mm -hmm. Ship enhancements. I don't have enough. Med Bay. Will immediately and completely heal your scars. Okay, I need more iridium and platinum. Has made a good system. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Yes, I'm interested in that. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Do you have a minute? Of for course. Either? I'm just finished. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally yeah. well. As they Cerberus have. operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Yep. Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. That's fine. He's a very weird. influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. 
I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. Huh. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. Yeah. By your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. Right. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. That's not what defines you, Your though. spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. Oh, what the fuck? How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. What the actual... Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. That's so fucked up. Any I kind of feel bad Amanda. for her now. I I judged her a bit harshly, I think, in the beginning. Well, I, I didn't really judge her. I was just like, Meh, I'm not sure about her, you know? But now I feel bad for her. Maybe he has Normandy of great. I help you, Commander. He don't. I won't take any Back to work. That's fine. So only like, I guess Zaid doesn't have uh, Normandy upgrades yet. I couldn't talk to him. But all the rest of my crew, I need to talk to them, and I can upgrade the Normandy with it. That's pretty interesting. No new messages. Advanced... What? Okay, wait, let me go in the lab again. Not, not the calm room. Here. Okay, now they're here. Can I talk to him Shepard. again? How can I help? No, okay. I'll let you work. We'll Alright, I think I did I did like what I could do here. I think I should stop. But I want to go back to Omega first. Cause we have not done many things. We literally went straight to the slums. I didn't even talk to um Aria? I didn't even do that, like... It could be customized your armor using the armor locker on any major starship, yeah. Squad selection. I'll, I'll take more than I think. And, um... And Jacob. Sure. Two points. Um... No, I'll wait. 10 points for him, okay, yeah. Uh. There we go. Uh, okay. I kinda want mm, grenade launcher maybe. The rest, I think they're good. I kinda wish I didn't have the helmet though. Nice. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Very nice. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. We could take off the helmet in uh, the first game, but not this one. I'm honestly, I'm a bit sad about it. Damn. 
I think fashion is going to be more important, guys. <laughs> I think fashion. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so I haven't been to Afterlife, yeah. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Who? Me? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sad. I'm gonna change my armor again. Fashion before practicality, guys, okay? I'm sorry, but um I can't see my face. If I could see my face, I would be fine. But I can't. Like Like genuinely, I'm going to do it right now. I'm I'm gonna. It's it's to that extent. Yes, I know it's stupid. I know, I know it's dumb. Okay. I know it is. I don't care. I'm going to change back into my N7. <laughs> I can't handle that we don't see her. Like she's so hot. She deserves to be seen. So I guess I bought these armor for nothing. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. <laughs> I swear I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. <laughs> Unless the game becomes really hard, obviously, then I, I will use armors, but... We haven't died yet, okay? We're fine. I mean, we did in the first episode. <laughs> Technically, we did. There we go. So much better. Judging by the quarantine reports, the yeah, I know. Has been I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting Let's go to station in the that may have information. Are you expecting you? Right. I didn't go talk to her. <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No. Just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? What the I, hell is going on? Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. What the hell was that? Okay, plus five. All right. That's uh, that was easy. Nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is um, Chorus Den. Of course, the Asari or uh... ah, yeah, yes, very nice. Get drunk as well. Probably. down here. Now we're level. Helena Blake! Wait, really? What is she doing here? Is that you? 
I, I heard you were dead. I hope she really retired. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. Of course I remember. You removed two criminal yeah. warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. Yeah. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of, all the, of above. the above. I find this place suits me. Yeah, obviously. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. You did? I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. You must have a name. That's more noble than I expected. <laughs> noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad That's to hear so you're cool. keeping out of trouble. I don't know if thank I trust you. her, but... Uh... This is all to your credit, Commander. But... To go. Of course. That was all! Oh, that, that, that was really cool! That was, uh, unexpected. Really. Oh my god, I, I was surprised. Vegetarian. Four of them. Okay, no, I don't. I don't. Upgraded my moves since Mass Effect 1, I can tell you that. I that looked better. Patriarch. You said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I miss Rex. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arya's patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. Wow. She came for me here in this bar. Tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, 
he was stronger. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arias now. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. I see. After she took me down. They move a lot around the, during discussions in this game. Advisor and a trophy. I should be going. Interesting. They always move a bit, they, they're always like this. It's a little bit too much in my opinion, it's a bit unnatural. In the first game there was that as well, but not as much I feel like. Maybe I'm just looking too much into details. It's it's not a big deal though. Borgia adaptation interesting, not just biological, social as well. Urban area adapting to them in return, large concentration. Hope they're controlled. If they attack, as happened near my clinic, casualties likely. Uh huh. This is Vorcha then. What's going on here? Marketplace. Oh, okay, I'm back here. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I did something for him as well. I need to tell him. Heard you spoke to Harry. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. 1,000 credits. Get, get out, out of here. here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. That was nice. No, 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 wait a minute. Okay, okay, so I can buy upgrades and then... Oh, Shepard gets 10% health. Oh, it's expensive. I see. I need to go back to the Citadel as well. I really need to do that. Okay, I haven't been down... Oh, there's nothing. Oh my god. Uh, I've been to the lower level, so now I could go back up. Because Arya is... Probably up and not in the lower levels, as we can see. So let's... I'm, I'm sure there was a, an easier way to go back, but whatever. Shaira! Interesting. She was about to become a ca council member, but she declined. Huh. Okay, can't go there, but we can go up. There she is. All right, then. That's close enough. She has a sorry Turian Batarian on her side and Krogan. Stand still. And Salarian, I guess. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing I face. love the I was told you're the person eyebrows. to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Markings. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I 
I am Omega. Okay, no less. Okay, girl. With the but echo and more. everything. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss. You need to be careful with her. If you're feeling dramatic. Like Doesn't you. Matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Me. Don't fuck with Arya. Uh. I have similar rules. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. Fair enough. Why do we sit so far apart? So, what can I do for you? Archangel. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. <laughs> really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. It's what fine. kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're hmm. using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, oh. Blood Pack. Oh, Lord. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Blue Suns are Turians and Blood Pack are Krogan, right? And the other, I don't remember. Wait, let me. Uh, Which Merc groups I just want to hear again. Blue Suns, Eclipse. Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omegas. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other huh. is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information mm. is power. Obviously, Mundane yeah. things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the Mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. She That's she be privileged as information gets. She be the many patriarch. friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. See what I mean by the moving answer? around? Mind your own damn business. Like nobody moves like that. One scan and we're straight to business. <laughs> In real life. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. All right. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Join the Mercs. I'm getting a lot of uh, of renegade now. That's not too bad. So now we have Archangel that we can do. This is in the Citadel. Sit it all as well. You can deliver the brandy. 
Oh, that's in the citadel, the ingredients. I forgot the spices and, and shit. <laughs> okay, I guess we... Yeah, I guess we'll just continue for the main story next episode, guys. Um, I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? For Archangel? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. I mean, I have a bit of Good time. Night. Oh no, keep blue sons is not necessarily Turian. Strippers quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So you're here to fight them. I wonder if I don't do it. But it's kinda cool. Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Who's Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah. Tarek runs the Blue Suns. But all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. Mm -hmm. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. I but see. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. <laughs> but that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. Okay, yeah, I remember where that there. is. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna miss the action, so I, I don't wait, you know? But maybe I should wait a little bit and then click, because I always cut them short. I don't know how to explain. We'll stop here, guys. I'll just go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just Come go. On, let me in. <laughs> I'll just go um, to the marketplaces. I haven't. Have I been here? Oh, yeah, I have. Humans are applied to galactic purity. Annoying. 
chest plate. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. Tentatively excited. I I mean sniper rifle I don't I don't use that I mean my my crew might sometime oh what do you want what's behind this door VIP section of the club for those with the right name do you want something I'd like to join the party this really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What do you want? I don't want anything at all. Check out Afterlife's main floor. Uh-huh. This is strange. Uh-huh. Breeding theme. <laughs> Did I just hear that? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the transport and then I'll I'll end it there guys. Because I really need to stop playing. I think I've been playing for too long. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? I'll no. just be going. Keep up the I'm good sorry, work. I'm just talking to everybody. I don't want to miss anything. Here, right? Yeah. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Time. Yeah. Sure. Cause we are ending here. Okay. A sorry made Solaris armor can resist even the tremendous heat and kinetic energy of starship weapons. The armor is nearly unsurpassed in strength because its central material, carbon nanotube sheets woven with diamond chemical vapor deposition, are crushed by mass effect fields into super dense layers able to withstand extreme Gee. temperatures. That process also compensates for diamond's brittleness. Diamond armor itself has two limiting. I I I, I shouldn't. Met I I really. I should not. I should, I should stop. It's so hard to stop playing this game. Why do I look cross-eyed? What the fuck? Okay, that's better. Ah. Um. Yeah. Uh, love it. Love, 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 love so far. Like I mentioned, like there's a couple of things that I don't like as much, but I think with the upgrades, it's going to be okay. It's just the beginning, you know, the, the, they replace the cooldown with bullets instead, ammo. Uh, the lack of scanner, minimap. Um, the lack of metagel, but I think now I can because I added it on my armor. I think. I think I can heal myself now, but I'm not sure because I haven't tried it yet. The lack of uh, being able to take off your helmet for your armor and leveling is way slower and more expensive and less stuff. I guess I don't know how to explain like less things but maybe it's going to change maybe we'll get more and more uh, but that's not a lot like that's that's nothing um, <laughs> I don't know there, there's a couple of things like that that I'm not sure why they decided to do it like that but it's fine I don't think it takes away from the game like I still love the game um, but yeah I'm 
also they move a little bit too much when when there is dialogue and uh, and choices and like the, the NPCs they just move a lot around. It's so stupid. It's such a stupid like comment to make criticism, but I mean, I real like it's too much if you realize that they're doing it, right? That's my opinion anyway. But yeah. But apart from that, like those are minor details. I'm really nitpicking. Like the, honestly, this is super interesting the story. As always, a Mass Effect is super fun, very interesting. I'm excited to see the rest. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.